announcement is brought to you by Mental Atom Products Deep Heat and Deep Freeze and Willie, and Willie McLernan at Farmer Auto Care, official sponsors of East Kilbride FC TV. Welcome to Ainsley Park. It is now 30 up for East Kilbride, and next up is a tricky trip on the road against Spartans. Let's look at the teams. Well, for the home side and for Douglas Samuel, the manager, to say that always cause problems to the top side of the league, always looking to try and challenge, but never quite materialised over the last couple of years. Blair Carswell is the goalkeeper, Jack A. The former Selkirk and Galafiri Rovers forward will be looking to dish out a goal or two. And it's a side that could well be a record. Thorn possibly in the side of this AK team. With Byron Russell, captain as ever. Jacob Keane looking for a strong back four today. Gibbons and Hughes in that sort of holding role. But it is the 4-4. Four -four. And then the two up top, Jack Smith looking to settle back into blue and gold colours and then the strong bench as ever for Kelby and Martin Lachlan. It's a crisp day but it's a sunny day and Yuki looking to continue this wonderful run. But the Spartans to get us going in their white and red traditional home colours. Russell then with the ball up long. Craig Howie around, what's he doing up there? Obviously came up for the free kick and trying to get involved. Good ball in for a troubling goalkeeper. Jack Smith is around but taken by Carswell. Good play this from Spartans, here's Dishington. Has some supports, but the strike goes into Keane's hands. Early in there, Seth Lund into the match. And that one was always rising from Eddie Mullows. Positive stuff that's from the home side. And that's a decent header from Tommy. Another corner. And they go for the short option this time. Time here for Craig Stevenson. But no rocket there. And that's straight into the keeper's hands. One or two were waiting for it, including Harry that came up. High open ball, Howie up there again. Victoria Smith with the effort in the end. Victoria has control down. Forward towards Jack Smith and Ja Victoria. Such so a dream pairing on paper. Goals over the last couple of seasons. And now here's Victoria back across the face of the goal. But Winters header couldn't quite get on target. A good open game. Another Spartans corner. And the header goes and inside netting. Up long from the keeper. Nice header on towards Jackie, who bullies Craig Howey. All his own work, all his own work. That's yeah. magnificent for Jackie. Yeah. And Spartans take the lead. And we're not far off half time. Craig Howey couldn't get in the way. Nothing wrong with that. It's powerful, it's strength, it's fantastic ability. Jackie loves scoring in TK. And his former clubs with Gal and Selkirk. And he's done it again. Half time and one or two problems for Martin Lachlan. It's been an open game, it's been a good game. Both sides been very good in spells, but Jack Hayes, terrific finish, sees the home side with the lead. Jack Smith gets the second half underway for East Kilbride. But the work to do for this record.
Craig Stevenson with this Spartans free kick. Of the head of Townsley, can't quite find his head and feet to connect and find the ball. Now here's Victoria, gets round Stevenson, winters through the middle, he could play it across. I think he thought about doing that, but he's still got it here, but it's going to bundle its way into the keeper's hand. I think it's worth Tommy with the Bryant defending just to thwart the winter. Winter linking up again here. Owen oh, Gibbons has came in here and I wouldn't be surprised if the colour of this card is red and it is. And I did see two feet leaving the ground early on in the face of the challenge. And Dishington was the one that was fouled. I think the actual contact wasn't too bad but you can see the feet come up and there was studs showing in there. There wasn't a great deal of contact but it is dangerous in this day and age. I think luckily enough for the Spartans player there wasn't too much damage but in this day and age, I think the red card, probably the right call, and dishing tent is OK. So the record could be in trouble as Spartans fly this one up. Well, the miss kick and Jack Hay could pick up here. This could be real trouble for AK. And Jack Hay almost in for his second, but comfortable for King. I wonder what's in the mindset of Martin Lachlan. It's up towards Jao Victoria. Well, that's a, another great challenge. And, oh. It looked pretty much as bad as the EK one, but this time only the yellow card is shown. And the EK bench are absolutely incensed. Well, across it's nice for Hay. Townsend Hay combining. Still not got it away, they have now, have EK. And there's another. Hefty challenge, Stevenson, it looked like there were studs up there, it's another yellow card. And we've seen three challenges, this one obviously not too fitting, but studs are really high there. You can maybe see why some of these challenges he came in trying to happy about. Could be more than one red card in this game. So a lot of debate around challenges in the game at the moment. Substitute Hardy. Looking for inspiration, time running out. Victoria wiggling his way around. Now it's Christ with a penalty. It might have been a clip. Victoria might have went down slightly easy, but they're definitely like a little bit of contact in the first view. And Jack Hay looking to march away from Barry Russell. It's all going off here. The record is dwindling away from AK. The first defeat of the season in the league is fast approaching. Here I'm scaring stuff. Victoria. Tries to turn away, Malone with a chance, a free kick here to AK. Here's another look at the challenge, and there was a bit of contact from Brown. I don't know if there was a real clip on his leg from the one viewing we've got. Not some of these decisions, I think that'll be one for plenty of you watching on to discuss about. And now Spartans going on down the tie. Dan Ward taking it to the corner. Job nearly done. And it's 30 and out for East Colbride. Spartans have won the game thanks to Jack Hayes' goal late on in the first half. And then uh, a mess in the second half with a red card for Kieran Gibbons. A couple of other challenges which could have been either way a different colour of card, a possible penalty shot for East Colbride. But as soon as they went down to 10, Probably for the correct red card, it was always trouble from there. Thankfully, in terms of a league perspective, there's still a big gap in the points. There's wins for Dalbuti Star, for University of Stirling, for Gretna away at Selkirk. Whitetail Welfare have won big as well. And there was a draw between BSC Glasgow and the Cumbernauld Colts. So the record's gone, but the important thing for East Colbride supporters is the league table. East Kilbride sit top with their 15 played, one defeat now, it's still 42 points. They are 
a long way clear of East Stirling who do have a game in hand and then Dalbiti are in third. Spartans now in fourth. We did tell you they do like to be in around the, amongst the top end of the table and they've shown it again and they've picked up a big three points on themselves. Preston and Selkirk prop up the lone league table. So high drama then at Ainsley Park. The record's gone, the record's over. Onwards and upwards to the cup for East Colbride. Spartans have won. It is 30 all over.